Uh, hi, I'm Tom Buller. I'm the County Extension Agent for Horticulture here in Douglas County, Kansas, so just outside of Lawrence. And today I'm talking about the partnership project. We're working with three farms uh, in Douglas County, so Mellow Fields Farm, Red Tractor Farm, and Moon on the Meadow. What we're working on is trying to figure out ways to control weeds in organic production systems of fall direct seeded vegetables. That's kind of a mouthful, um, but last year uh, in the fall, I asked some local producers what problems they were having uh, in growing vegetables in Douglas County, and weed control was the unanimous concern, um, specifically in those fall direct seeded vegetables. So beets, carrots, and spinach are the crops we're looking at and trying to figure out how to control weeds. Um, so I started doing some research to try and figure out what's the best control method. Um, came up with the idea that stale seed bedding is a, a good control method um, and also possibly occultation as a good control method. Um, but there, there wasn't quite definitive research exactly on how to do that stale seed bedding um, and some of the, the specific techniques of applying those here in Kansas. So stale seed bedding is a technique where uh, the beds that you're going to plant into are formed ahead of time and you try and get the weeds in that top germination layer to germinate and then kill them before you plant without bringing up more weed seeds so you can't do a rototilling to kill them you have to do something mildly very either mildly invasive or non-invasive um, so we're actually trying two different techniques for stale seed bedding um, First one is we are going to use a flame weeder to terminate the weeds after they germinate. And the other one, we, we're using a new tool, uh, new to us, called a power harrow, which instead of rotating vertically like a rototiller does, it turns horizontally so it's not bringing up new weed seeds uh, into that germination layer. So hopefully if we can get those weeds to germinate, kill them, then we can plant the crops into them without those same weed control problems. Uh, so we put together a research project through the SARE Partnership Program and uh, working with a variety of different farms here, uh, most notably uh, for today, uh, Kevin Prather here from Mellow Fields Farm. Uh, I'm Kevin Prather, Mellow Fields Farm in Lawrence, Kansas, and uh, we're participating in the SARE Partnership Grant. Um, Largely because we've got some um, strong weed pressure, pigweed is an issue on our farm, and in the summertime trying to germinate se uh, direct seeded crops um, for fall harvest has been a real big challenge. So we're excited to try some uh, overlapping techniques uh, to get a control of uh, our weed pressure issues. Um, occultation with tarps um, in combination with uh, power harrowing and uh, flame weeding, we feel like we're going to be able to um, get that nipped in the bud and under control.